Well, you've had a number of different experiences as we, we've touched on. I'm curious about how people should learn to be leaders. We, we know that people don't start off necessarily being you know, a CEO, but they, they get there over time. Any thoughts on what young developing leaders should do to improve their leadership skills? So what advice would I give for others who want to learn to lead? I would say one of the first things is to identify people who feel like leaders to you. Um, be clear on what is your definition of leadership. And then if there is someone in your organization, a leader in your organization or your environment, your circle, your, your university, um, that, that really attracts you as a leader in terms of their style, their approach, their accomplishments, observe them and study their approaches. Consider being bold if circumstances permit or, or create a situation where you can open a dialogue and maybe ask them to be your mentor. Um, another thing to be clear on is why do I want to be a leader? What does it mean to be a leader? And what does that mean for my professional development? How would I go about honing this skill? Is my desire for leadership coming from a place of self-serving ego or is it coming from a place of integrity to service. I think in creating um, leaders of the future, it's important that we're honest about that. Oftentimes, I, I, I believe we may confuse leadership and celebrity, for example. Visibility is leadership. I don't think visibility is leadership. Visibility is someone who's versed in the art of self-promotion or public relations, or advertising. They're leaders who demonstrate a core integrity to true service to others, to place, to community. And perhaps it's an opportunity for us to reassess what we mean by leadership and what, what do we mean when we say to ourselves, I want to be a leader. Why do I want to be a CEO? And it comes back to being in service to others rather than for one's own self-promotion. It sounds to me like you're, a part of your philosophy as a leader is that a leader, the role of the leader is to serve, is to, to be of service and to, to facilitate others. W would you agree with that? Absolutely. The role of the leader is to be of service and facilitate others in that a true leader comes from that perspective. That's how we create leaders as opposed to a dictator or a tyrant. A leader is not about the cult of personality. A leader is about a core sense of base, basic integrity and service. And if you're coming from a place of integrity to service, then the other aspect of leadership, which relates to succession planning and facilitating the leadership growth and development of others will just be a natural evolution. If you're coming from a place of ego, I want to be CEO because I will be visible and I'll, you know, all of those things, I'll have control and domination um, or dominance, sorry, then you're not going to be paying attention to next gen cultivation or to succession planning or to facilitating the career path of, of future leaders. That's my belief. Others may disagree. I can't think of anybody here that's going to disagree with you. 